All right, guys, today we're back in the blind, getting ready to show you an update on the smooth ammo molding system. Really excited about what we got going on here. So we're gonna get right into it right off the bat. We're just not gonna mess around at all here. So we're gonna go right on over to channel three. All right, and so let's make sure I got enough room for all this. All right, looking good, I'm not messing things around. All right, so the very first thing we got here is some new stuff that I'd like to go over. This is a new mold for the smooth ammo molding system. And why this is so excited, exciting is because, here we go guys, we got pellets, skirted pellets. Okay, so this is a 457 caliber. Okay, and why I have series of them here is because we have, we're starting off and we have the full slug. Okay, so this is a full slug, round. This has got an O-give to it with a little flat on the tip. And this is a hollow point with a cone. I don't know if you can see that cone in there. Okay, this is solid. This is a deep hollow point. This is a really, there's no cone in there. It's just a really deep hollow point way down into there. Once again, solid base slug. But then we have our hybrid right here. Hybrid slug, 457. Okay, same thing here for conic tips. Okay, we have a full slug. All right, the, the cone tip. Okay, see that cone in there? The deep hollow point and the hybrid. Okay. And these all come from the same system right here now. What's cool about this is that here we go, here's our round O give. Here's our conic. Okay, and you can see that they just pop right down into there. It's like so. Alright. There's where our slugs go. Alright. And here is, it's a split, the first split that I've done. And this is actually here for these guys. All right, and you'll notice here that these have the same setup. Now, if you look over here into the smooth ammo molding system here, the main body of it, we see that this die, of course, this is the holder, and here's this bottom die. Well, this has all the possibility of all these different inserts going into it for different, uh, this is a 25 caliber, uh, piece here. Oh, let's see if you can see that. Let's see if I can get in on it. Okay. That's the 25 caliber base right there. Okay. And you can see that all these are, here's the cone tip right here. This is the cone tip that makes these cone tips right here. So these cone tips fit right into this. And this is the reverse cone tip that makes that little tip for the cone. Okay. And these are all adjustable in the smooth ammo molding system by this right here. This will just take and come out and you can pull this out. So this is the tip, this is for the skirted, the, the heavy skirted, okay? And you can see that fits right in there. Okay, and that's also for these hybrids, the same skirt for these hybrids, okay? As well as the conic. Okay, so we got, we have all these different ones. You can see it fits right in there, okay? And that just slides right in there. And, and then you could just, if you have the next one, you just take and you set it, slide it right into here. Okay, and now you tighten it. Now you're ready to go. You put your holder on, your next die, and you're ready to go. Now you might have to adjust this up and down and you can see right here, there's a space in between here. Well, of course we want to have this die being pressed down on by our cutter top. And so you would have to adjust this down several notches in order to fix that space there, okay? All right, so you kind of see the, the, the ability of the smooth ammo system, molding system to be, well, all you'll be buying once you get the main system is these dies for different sizes, 25, 357 uh, pellets now. I'm working on pellet cutters. I've got that down pretty good. I think that we'll be really happy with some of these. All right, and of course we see that we're working on other sizes, 30, uh, 30 caliber, uh, 357, these are 22s, the same thing, deep, deep, hollow point, 22, okay, solid slug, oh wait, this is the hybrid, there's a hybrid 22, okay, so it's the same mold, okay, and then this is the full solid slug, okay, so let's just take a quick look at what some of these really exciting things are, is because first off, we have the different sizes of slugs that we have here, and I'm going to just show real quick what you could do with this system, so it with these pellets, you could take and make a solid skirted pellet if you wanted to, okay? Depending on the bore size of what you're shooting, okay, if it's choked or not. 
you could do a minimum so you could start reducing the weight of these full and then this is something really exciting because now we have the ability to do alloys and so this is a this is a, a pellet that is made out of tin okay and so let's just take a look real quick I think you guys could see the uh, let's see if we could see that yep we can see the the grainage here all right and so we're gonna go to the mode and there we go we're to grain all right and we'll start off with this guy and we'll see that this is a 457 uh, Koenig full slug slug base and it's 215 grain okay then we're gonna go to this guy which is the cone tip all right and we're gonna see that it's a little bit less 209 all right we're gonna see the deep cone 191 and this can be adjusted this deep cone can so you could really adjust the range here and then of course the hybrid 169 all right and so that will be that will apply the same as to, to these round tips okay these O gives because there's going to be a whole series of these 239 with the cone 234 with the deep 217 216.8 with a hybrid, 194 grain. All right, super excited about this. And these can also be done in tin, which is which even lightens the grain more. So here's the full base. If you're shooting something without a, a choke, okay, 192. Here's uh, the slightly reduced cup, or the minimum cup, 184. All right, here is. The full cup, this is lead, 148. So it's a 148 grain pellet here in lead. But what's really exciting is here's this tin one right here, okay? 97 grain, right? <laughs> and that, that can be used for all these. And I'll have, for the slugs, I'll have slightly undersized um, molds for, for tin. So that way, because the tin, it's harder, and you have to have the exact bore size correct if you want to, and choke size if you want to fire them right. But they work amazing, and they really up the feet per second. Okay, so you can get going much faster. So if you have a weaker gun that's not putting it out, putting out enough power to get you to the range that you want for your ballistics, well, you can mix in tin alloys and get where you want to go which is really super exciting. And I'm using uh, aluminum in these right now, but I've also used hardened steel. You can see these are different points for this. And this is a really simple system. Like I said, all you do is you just go into here, you know, and so this is a two part. This is for the, for the pellet and these go in pretty quick and easy. For the pellet one, you have to go exactly in the middle. So that way it lines everything up. You can't go over to these two side points where you grab it. And of course it closes down and then all you do is go right into your lead pot like this you'll hit this boom you'll hit you hit your hot lead you pull it out you cut the top you pull it out it drops right out and you do it again and it really goes pretty quick and you'd be amazed i mean a, a couple of hours will get you you know your whole next day's ammo no problem you know you'll have a whole you know pack of 100 or you know 200 if you really spend a couple hours and um these, these are a little bit more, these are kind of a pain in the butt, and I'm actually thinking about making a holder for these that's slightly different, but um, these still go really quick. I mean, I was able to make 50 of them, uh, of the leaded skirt, skirt ones, and it only took me about probably, well, probably about 40 minutes, 30 or 40 minutes, um, and I, was, I wasn't like consistently just going for it. I was doing other things kind of in between and just piddling around a little bit, but uh you can get quite a few of them in an hour. I mean, you could probably, uh, if you were really ambitious, you could get over 100 in an hour. And so uh, I think that's super exciting about the system. It's not as exciting or it's not as efficient as a multi-mold system. And I, I get that, you know, you have three or four or five slots. But what this allows you to do is everything and you just have a series of molds that you're going to be able to go right into there and you'll be able to adjust what you want from your cup size to... Your, the depth of your hollow point. And so I think it's this one right here is the hollow point for this guy. And say, so, wait, no, is it this one? Yeah, it's that one. And so this is the whole, this is how deep this hollow point here goes. 
Okay, so it's it's in there to about there. Okay, so you can see how that works. And that'll just come right out of there looking just like that. And so this is a 22. Let's see if I could focus that in. You see the, deep, the depth and the size of that hollow point on that 22. It's kind of awesome. And so I'm really excited about this. Uh, basic update on the smooth ammo molding system. And like I said, you know, it's, it's literally to change your cup. It's just literally this easy. Now you got you got the full cup for your... Uh, for your pellets or your hybrid slugs now. And once again, here you got your holder and your mold. And it's that easy. And this just adjusts up and down with a wrench and this is your lock bolt for your top one. You lock it against the bottom. You, you wait until it's the tension. You can see that this one's too big. So I would have to relieve, I'd have to take and break this one up and go just adjust it like so until I can get on top of it. And then you look and you want it nice and flat crossed here. So you look right there, it's going pretty good. You want a little bit of tension and then you go back this direction with this guy until it straightens out and as soon as it applies pressure to this, now this thing won't rotate anymore. It's tight as heck in there. Okay, And you can see that this is sliding across the top of it. Okay, all right, And that's what you want. Now see this one, I'm going to even put a little bit more pressure on it until I get... Oh yeah, now see. Now it's holding it in place good and solid. You can take and lock your second lock piece down, all right, and this thing right here, now will shear off, cut good, and hold this piece in place where it has all the tolerances to make these beautiful ammos, okay? All right, so this is where we're at with the smooth ammo molding system. We have 357, we have 30 cal, we have 22 cal, we have 25 cal, we have 45 cal, I just made a 50 cal cutter, and so, I mean, things are moving along beautifully. And I hope this is exciting for you guys as it is for me. Uh, I can't wait to share a bit more with you guys. And I guess I'll catch you on the next one.